Yellowstone National Park, famous for erupting geysers like Old Faithful, is home to one of the largest volcanic systems on Earth, capable of wreaking havoc across entire continents, and experts say components of the so-called supervolcano are on the move. A new study published in Nature suggests that Yellowstone's magma and other superheated components have been shifting northeastward from the park's massive caldera, a giant volcanic crater that formed naturally hundreds of thousands of years ago. A major eruption is unlikely, and Yellowstone's volcanoes are notoriously unpredictable. There's no single area of Yellowstone that could erupt, the magma experts explain. In other words, it's unlikely to happen in our lifetimes. There will be an eruption, but it will probably be thousands of years before we can expect it, Eric Clemente Gonzalez, a professor of Earth and Planetary Sciences at Denison University who was not involved in the study, added. He believes the shift is the result of the gradual southwestward movement of the North American tectonic plate, extending into northern Canada and southern Mexico. Yellowstone's last eruption was 70,000 years ago, according to the U.S. Geological Survey. That's a drop in the ocean compared to three very large explosive eruptions, big enough to fill the Grand Canyon with lava and ash in the past two million years. Bennington added that the new findings are unlikely to impact outdoor experiences at the park. Geologists also reported in June that Washington's Mount St. Helens is entering a recharge phase as its magma begins to repressurize. In late December, Hawaii's Kilauea volcano one of the world's most active, began erupting again. 